COVID-19 is a merciless creature, a monster, who invaded our planet in 2019. Upon its invasion on Ireland, COVID-19 forced everybody to stay at home and drew a halt to people's normal everyday lives. COVID-19 is a virus that spreads by sneezing and co or coughing. The corona is when you get sick, you have to go to the hospital. It's about the sickness. It means you will drop off it and then it will come to someone else because someone else is near you. It's basically like a massive shockwave that's going to cross the entire world. I tell you the story. Once a bat has the virus and the and a virus and the bat gave it to a mouse or another bat and one day the um a, a creature bited the bat or licked the bat and then and then the ant creature got germs and then and then they sold the the ant creature and then the man got it to eat for dinner tonight and then he went home and gave his and then he put the ant creature in the fridge and then and then he gave his wife a big hug and then and then and then and then his wife got the virus and then she went to the neighbor's house and then the neighbor got the virus person to person to person to person to person to person to person it's like the flu but uh a lot more contagious that affects everyone but it mostly affects the elderly and old people Thousands of people died from it. It has caused our world to go on pause to something we've never seen before. Covid feels like it's very fake, but it's very real at the same time. Like, I personally haven't been affected by it because I don't know anyone who's been sick with it. So it's something I don't see. It's impacted my life so much. It's made such an impact on even the entire world. It's just a stressful time. <laughs> COVID-19 is an introvert's dream. Everybody's forced to stay at home to stop the spread of the COVID-19 virus. The only way to get corona by going to other people's homes. That's, that's, that's five kilometers. You're only allowed five how much is away from your house? How did COVID change my daily life? Um, Before COVID, I was a regular 18 year old starting to experience life and meet my friends and travel. And that's when everything started to happen. Before we could walk to the after schools and like hug people and stuff but mm. now we, we stay inside 24 7 and we can't we can't even be close to each other. It made me not go to school, not my workplace I guess and I can't go to the cinema or things like that. Regular regular week would be going to you reach nine to four and going to shops and stuff on the weekends and I go to restaurants and things and now we are having another lockdown and everything is a lot of things are closed like cinemas and restaurants. And it's not the same at the moment. Just basic things we took for granted, whereas after COVID, I'm now halfway through my first semester in college, did everything that is meant to be this really memorable time in your life, and now it just seems like a blur. The birdies aren't singing as loud anymore. The kids, the kids aren't having 
as fun as fun as they used to. We we used to go to everybody's houses and used to read books together. I used to do dancing. On the weekends, I would hang out with my friends and go out with my family somewhere. Um, during COVID, I don't obviously go anywhere anymore. I do online school. Uh, you, I don't really see my friends anymore. We can share toys, and, and we can't, and, and we can't get mixed up in pods. We have to wash our hands and dry our hands and then take off our shoes. We can't say hi to them through the window because they're very high up, but we could get a ladder though. Um, before COVID, I, I'd be able to make plans. I'd have concerts and different events to look forward to all the time. And I really never thought that this would be a thing that I'd ever have to worry about. It's weird. I'm getting up in the morning. As I used to get up at six in the morning and go on a bus to school. And now none of that's really happening. The, you, I could travel to places which now, for example, I can't. I can't actually go anywhere because I'm in the middle of nowhere. So I don't have anyone I know that lives probably within 5k of me. So I can't really go anywhere. The only time I leave the house, except going for a jog, is literally to the shop. I was very active. I was going to the centre and back, doing my work. Fridays, I'd be going for lunch and a shopping trip with my best friend. But now, I haven't seen my best friend in three months. I think the biggest issue is just the mental toll it's taken on so many people and how it's affected so many people just in general. Even if you don't catch it, you can't see your friends, you can't see maybe other family members. I worked in tourism and that of course got shut down, so I didn't lose my job, but I don't work there at the time being at least. I'm a very social person. I always had to be out doing something. I hate communicating online. And from someone who personally um, deals with severe mental health problems, being locked in and not being able to go out and do the things that I usually do has affected me differently. You have to keep away from the children. You have to have masks. You have to sanitize your hands. And you have to stay close to somebody we know, but not to anyone else. If we get that medicine, we won't. Uh, we will be able to go to job, learn and be close to people and hug them and kiss them. I wake up just before my lectures and click open my laptop and start all over again. And uh, I just spend more time, a lot more time actually at home. And I get out now as a walk on our local road within our five kilometers and that's my week. Uh, the difference between online and in school is when you're in school, you get to see your friends and I'd prefer school. Um, doing work from home on Seesaw is good, but it's harder because not many, because not many teachers are giving the same amount of work. Sometimes they're giving a bit more. Um, I'm very unmotivated to work at home. In the classroom, you have to work, so it's just a lot easier for me to work in the classroom, so I'm really struggling with online school. I prefer learning at home in a way. I like learning at home because I get to do it in my own time. It's kind of easier for me at home, maybe to do the work. I don't know if I'm learning so much as well. Learning at school. You get to see more people and you can kind of learn everyone else helps. You don't get to build the same connections with lecturers or teachers. So if you struggle with motivation or have any issues with mental health, learning online is so much tougher. Because now that we're in online learning, the whole group can hear what you're saying. You can't ask the lecturer a question, say, by yourself without the whole group here. 
we got to see our friends, we got to hug each other. Like, school offers that distraction that I need mm, from 9 to 4, but without it, it's kind of more difficult than everything. So, you're just getting up basically and sitting down at a computer, um, learning at school. Like, I suppose you get to actually be around people, not like looking at them through a camera. Um, I like going in to be able to talk to my friends and it's a bit easier at work and stuff, but I prefer being at home because I'm enjoying the routine that I'm in at the mornings. Just going out to my shed and doing a workout and then being able to come in and make a breakfast, usually I'd be rushing and then sit down and get ready for classes. During the lockdown, I missed being in school, just having somewhere to go and having a good environment to learn in. I just started TY and I've made the most amazing group of friends that I never thought I'd talk to half of them. And we've missed out on so much of our TY year and we're all so, so upset that we might not get it at all. And we'll be going into fifth year without spending as much time together as we wanted to. Just having somebody else be there um, and kind of share your struggle of um, of having to sit there and learn and also listen and not understand always what a teacher is saying. I think it's just the atmosphere that I missed more than anything. One thing I miss the most is the motivation. I find when you had to go every day, you were accountable and it got you up and going and especially with mental health struggles, it's very hard to find motivation to do online learning. There's no way I would have been able to live without the internet. Not only do I rely on it for school, I also need it to talk to my friends and even watch Netflix. It is such a big part of my life and everybody's life. I would have got half of my math wrong if there was no Google. I don't have many games that do take internet, so I would still be able to play certain games. I could survive without internet. Yeah, but John, you wouldn't know what homework to have because you have no internet and Seesaw needs internet. That sounds like a plus to me. We look through the window. Granny bought her iPad and we can call someone. The internet is a good place to learn. Uh, if I couldn't really survive without it because then I wouldn't be able to learn much. I think the most important thing about having internet through all of these times is just being able to socialize with my friends. So, like it helps so much. Just being able to talk with someone and laugh and joke and stuff can just help your mental health through. I was extremely lonely and that was my biggest struggle during this pandemic is the loneliness. My mum never let me outside with my friends. I'm in touch with the counselor. I'm Zoom calling my friends more often. I'm doing these stupid um, crime solving games. Like I'm just, I'm doing things to keep myself busy. I wouldn't say I was lonely during COVID just because I was had my family obviously and my boyfriend, but I couldn't see my friends as much as I obviously wanted to, but it was okay because everyone was kind of in the same boat. I have loads of social apps. They have my school friends on them, and they can also um, we can also like video chat. There would have been often a Friday or Saturday night where I was missing the pints in the local pub, but to fix this problem, I would organise a, a get together via Zoom and have a few drinks, virtual drinks, with with a few of the lads, and this uh, was great crack because it's much easier to talk to somebody when you see in seeing them rather than over text because um, a lot of the communication is non-verbal and that's why it's good to see people. I suppose my PlayStation and my, and my gym equipment. You can't forget about that. Two main things that helped me get through COVID-19 are my faith, first of all, Although I could not practice my faith like in normal times, I found other ways of practicing it. 
like visiting relatives' graves, for example, or visiting the church for private worship. This provided me with an escape from the whole madness of what of what's going on, and just have a bit of quietness. The second thing that helped me, I suppose, was getting out for a walk, getting out in nature. Nature is powerful as all this, and uh, it's not good for anybody to be staying inside the same four walls the whole time. And um, I think it's important for us all to get out every now and then and experience nature and just go for a walk and get exercise and that is great for mental health. I think for me, my girlfriend helped me a lot to get through COVID-19 because we are talking and FaceTiming all of the time and she just helped me a lot and she's always there if I need her. Um, Another thing that definitely helped for me is being able to have loads of time to draw and paint and create loads of things um, because that's definitely a really good and healthy outlet that I have for my emotions is to be able to draw something or, or create something or paint that really helped me too. During this lockdown it was very easy to just do nothing and just rot away but Having an animal and something to care for would definitely help to keep me going with motivation. Like if you were lying in bed in the morning and I didn't want to get up, you could hear her little footsteps of my dog coming down the hall and she'd jump up on the bed and encourage you to move because she needed your attention and you knew you had to give your responsibility to something else more than yourself. What helped me get through COVID-19 was having a positive mindset. My badminton, I mean, would you, my gal's garden and my garden and we would have the fence be the net and we have to hit it over the fence. But it's, almost, but it's almost getting a spring and when it's not cold or not hot, we're going to be playing more badminton. It's fun. Yeah, yeah. very fun. Yeah. And house party. You can, play, you can play games and talk to people at the same time. On. Staying in contact with my school and my guidance counsellor and just a normal counsellor and also the internet and games and journaling and meditation and my cat because it was all good for distracting me and having something to do. The person that's helped me get through it is my boyfriend. It's only on call but like... Uh... <laughs> I guess my PC, I would say. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You're going to use it for everything. Work, entertainment, watching whatever, Netflix, playing games, interacting with friends. So I guess my PC would be answered. My, my cat. I, without <laughs> tea, I wouldn't be here. My grandparents. Especially my granny. She helped a lot. She just literally sat and watched TV with me. You know, going out on a walk, putting in your headphones, keeping your social distance really helps. It feels very refreshing and to me it gives me hope in a way again. And calling your friends as well, keeping in touch with them as much as you can. I know you can't do that every day, but it's very helpful. You know, it makes you feel better.